and done a test with your good conscience. The deer was, as you know, sanguineous in blood, ripe as the palm water who now hangeth like a jewel in the ear of callow. The sky, the welkin, the heaven, and anon falleth like a crab on the face of terror, the soil, the land, the earth. Truly, Master Hall of Friends, the epitaphs are sweetly buried. Like a skull, but I assure you, was a buck of the brush ah, Sir Nathaniel, old Crado. <laughs> Twas not an old Crado, twas a pricking. Those barbarous intimation! Yet yeah, a kind of insinuation, as it were, and by and way of explication, for seer, as it were, or rather, Austin Air to show, as it were, his inclination, after his undressed, unpolished, unpruned, untrained, or rather unlettered, or rather ist, unconfirmed fashion to insert again. My old cradle for a deer. The, the deer was not an old gray doe, twas a cricket. <laughs> oh, twice sought simplicity has caught us. Oh, thou monster ignorance, how deformed dost thou look! Sir, he hath not fed of the dainties that have read in the book. He hath not eat paper, as it were. He hath not drunk ink. His intellect is not yet replenished. He is only an animal, only sensible in the duller parts. And such barren plants are set before us that we think we should be, which we in taste and feeling are, that those parts in us do fructify more than we, though it would ill become me to be vain, indiscreet, or a fool to have a patch of learning to see him in a school, but oh, the vanish, say I, being of an old father's mind, many can book the weather that love not the wind. You two are bookmen. Can you tell me by your wit what was a month old at Cain's birth that's not five weeks old as yet? Dictiano, good man, doll. Dictiano, good man, What is Dictiano? A title to Phoebe. To Luna. The moon? The moon was a month old when Adam was no more and rot not to five weeks when he came to five score. The illusion holds in the exchange. It's true indeed, the collusion holds in the exchange. Ah, comfort thy capacity! I say the ah! Ah-lusion holds in the exchange. I say the pollution holds in the exchange. For the moon was never but a month old. And I say beside, it was a pricket that the princess pricked. Will you hear an extemporal epitaph on the death of the deer? And to humor the ignorant, call I the deer the princess pricked a cricket. Pergay, Master Alphonse. Pergay, if you will please drop it into I shall something affect the letter for an argue's facility. The prayful princess pierced and pricked a prayful pretty pleasing cricket. Some say a sore, but not a sore, till now made sore with shooting. If sore be sore, then L to sore makes fifty sores, one sorrel, I, and a hundred make, by but adding one more L. This is a gift that I have. Simple, simple. A foolish, extravagant spirit full of forms, figures, shapes, objects, solutions, apprehensions, and motions. Ha <laughs> ha! These are begot in the ventricle of memory, nourished in the womb of Pia Mater, and delivered upon the mellowing of occasion. But the gift is good with those whom it is acute, and I am thankful for it. And I praise to God for you, sir. <laughs> and so may my parishioners, and their sons, are well tutored by you, and their daughters do well unto you. You are a good member of the commonwealth. <laughs> but Hercule, if their sons be ingenuous, ooh, they shall want no instruction. If their daughters be capable, well, I'll put it to them. <laughs> <laughs> but here's a bit while la cateur, so feminine saluted us. God, can you good morrow, Master Parson? Oh, uh, Master Parson, quasi purse on. And if one should be pierced, which is the one? Oh, <laughs> Mary, Master Schoolmaster. He that is likest a hogshead! Yes! <laughs> Piercing of a hogshead! A good master of conceit in that. Fire enough for a flint, pearl enough for a swine. Just pretty it as well. Good master Parson, would you be so good as to read me this letter? It was given me by prosecutor and sent to Don Armado. I beseech you read it. 
Namaste, Akudalina, Reminate, and so forth. <laughs> Good old Mantuan. Speak of thee as a traveler, Dr. Venice. Banisha, Venisha, Keto, Embre, Sobreda, Parichara. <laughs> you understand it, me not. Namaste. Utre sola mi fa. Ah, yes, indeed. Oh, under pardon, sir. What are the contents, or rather, as Horace says in his, uh, uh, like my soul, uh, uh verses, yes. Hi, sir, and very learned. <laughs> we hear a snap, a stanza, a verse. Take it, Gomide. <clears throat> if love make me forsworn, how shall I swear to love? I'll never fit good hold, if not to beauty vowed, nor to myself forsworn, to be a faithful prove, those thoughts to me were oaks, to thee like goes just bound, study his by his sleeves, and makes his book thine eyes, where all those pleasures live, that I would comprehend, if knowledge be the mark, to know thee shall suffice, well learn it is a tongue, that well can thee commend, all ring of the vessel that, Easy with thy wonder, which is to me some praise That I thy parts admire, that I just like me bears Thy voice is dreadful thunder, which is to anger bent His music can through fire, celestial as a heart Will pine and love this wrong, that sings heaven's praise Which I should never die! <laughs> you find not the apostrophus, and so miss the accent! Let me supervise the casinet! Uh, here are only numbers ratified for the elegancy, the facility, and the gold and cadence of posy. Caret! Inventory is nothing. So doth the hound his master, the ape his keeper, and the tired horse his rider. Demoiselle of Virgin, was this directed to you? I said, for one, Master Brian, one of the strange king's lords. Go over and glance the superscript. To the snow white hand of the most beauteous lady, Rosalind. <coughs> Letter for the nomination of the party writing to the person written on to Yours in all desired employment, Byron. Oh. So, Byron is one of the votaries for the king in here, and framed a letter to the sequent of a stranger queen's which, without the doorway of the regression, have miscarried. Yes. Go, my sweet. Deliver this paper unto the royal hand of the king, it may concern much. Stay not thy compliment. I forgive thy duty, I do. said child or pupil undertake your ben valuto, where I will prove those verses to be very unlearned, neither savoring of poetry, wit, nor invention. I beseech your society. And thank you, sir, for society saving Texas, the happiness of life. Ah, uh, and so Tess, the text most infallibly concludes it. <laughs> sir, you are welcome too. You shall not say me nay. Fuck <laughs> Away! The gentles are at their game and we will do our recreation! 